Before you watch this video, I have a quick announcement for you. We are live right now on twitch.tv slash Mogden. And if you want to join us, you just have to scroll down to the comment section and click the link in the pinned comment. Once you've done that, boom, you're in the live stream. Thank you so much for listening. Now back to the video. You know what they say, Traveler? If you cannot beat them, you should join them. And I gotta say, they're not wrong. I'm gonna show you one of the most annoying builds that probably all of us have faced in the mists of Albion. It's the famous, or I should say infamous, double-bladed staff. The reason I'm showing you this is because, again, if you cannot beat them, might as well join them. But also, in case you wanna beat them, this build will provide the informations that you need to know exactly how double-bladed staff works so that you will be able to avoid it the next time it shows up at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I've been there. The build that I'm gonna show you today is part of a playlist that's aiming to showcase all the solo player-friendly builds available in the game. So if you're looking for a new build, chances are we've already showcased that on our channel, so make sure you check out our playlists for all the weapon lines that we've showcased so far. The build that we're gonna be doing today is specialized for open world and mists content. I would mostly recommend this for mists, but it definitely also works in the open world. It doesn't work, however, in corrupted dungeons or instance content in general, and it absolutely doesn't work in 1vx situations. But when it comes to mists, it absolutely slaps. The build goes like this. Fiend Cow with the third spell, first pass. If you wanna use Stalker Jacket, same thing right here. You wanna use any sandals. Any sandals, it doesn't matter. You wanna use them for the second and second passive. If you want to have Avalonian Cape or if you go high enough IP you could go on that Cape. I would say over 8.2 go on that Cape. Under 8.2 go Avalonian Cape. Uh, you could also go with Tedford Cape if you prefer that. You want to have Beef Stew or Eel Stew if you want to go on the expensive side. Invisibility Potions with some healing potions as a swap and potentially even some resistance potions. And we all know it the double bladed staff with the second Q, second W and second passive. Now as you can see this does not require a lot of spec. It doesn't require actually any spec because I'm pretty sure you have those abilities unlocked from the start of the game. Oh no, actually you have to unlock the second Q and the passive, but level 6 and level 3. You basically have them unlocked from the start of the game. Now enough about talking about the build, let's actually show how this works. First of all the Q. The Q looks like this, the more enemies you hit, the less cooldown you're gonna have and basically the more damage you're gonna be doing. That attack that you've seen right there, that comes from my cape. That thunderous attack that you've seen, that basically makes it so that enemies take damage, nearby enemies take damage, and it also reduces the damage that the enemies will be able to do to me. So basically all the enemies that have been affected by the initial damage will actually uh, have a 15% damage reduction against me. And you can see that right here, this is the Q, and if I'm auto-attacking, that's the Avalonian cape right there. The W makes you move fast, and the first target that you manage to hit while you have that buff active will be stunned. This is incredibly useful even for brawling sometimes because let's say you're fighting somebody with a cultist robe, you can interrupt that cultist robe very 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 easily. Or a fire staff with artillery fire, boom, interrupt that really easily. Or even a curse staff while they're launching their E, boom, you just drop them and right now they're stunned, you've cancelled their E. It's very 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 useful but you mostly want to use this to catch people or to run away from people. You don't really want to brawl with this build and that's a mistake that a lot of people are making with this. Alright, let's move forward. The E ability looks like this. It makes you leap forward and the first target that you hit or the targets that you hit will actually be slowed by 50%. This is again very useful for catching people or even running away because it has pretty, pretty high mobility out there. And now we're starting to get into the interesting part of the build that I'm going to be showcasing in combination. I'm not going to press the ability right now because I want to show you the combo that double bladed staffs have to to use to be able to kill you or for you to be able to kill with double bladed staffs. This ability will cause an electrical field to show up around you. This electrical field will last for 7.5 seconds and will deal damage every 0.5 seconds. This is an insane amount of damage and it's single-handedly the biggest source of damage that the double-bladed staff has. Without this, the weapon does not actually do much. It's the Avalonian Cape and that. Those are the two sources of damage that the double-bladed can actually pull through. As you can see, the DPS is not actually that high without the R. Now, if I were to activate the R, that would deal a lot more damage, but I want to show it in context. So, Here's what we're going to be doing. I want you to imagine that I am in the mist right now and I'm spotting an enemy that's about to run away. I'm going to activate my F which makes me move fast, pair it with my W which makes me move extra fast and also makes me stun the next enemy hit. I'm going to E towards the enemy slowing them down, auto attack them so I stun them with my W, my Avalonian cape will trigger and as they are stunned, that's when I'm going to be dropping my E and deal a lot of damage to them with everything that I have in my kit. If they reflect, I can use my helmet to purge them. That's why you want to use this. 
Alternatively, if they, let's say, activate a reflect, you can basically bait that reflect by running away. And in that situation, if you're comfortable enough uh, doing that, you can actually swap this with a Stalker Hood, which is going to deal even more damage. I mean, the Stalker Hood itself does not deal damage, but it's going to help you deal more damage. That's the whole rotation of Double Bladed Staff. So just to repeat it, you want to have F with W, charge towards the enemy if you need to, stun them, then drop this and start doing damage to them. The second your Stalker Jacket runs out, you want to run out as well. You cannot bro. A mistake that a lot of Double Bladed Staffs are making is that they're just staying over there and doing a little bit more damage than they actually can. You got to realize a 4.1 Fire Staff, a 4.1 Curse Staff, even a 4.1 Dual Sword user can easily kill you. You want to just go in, do your rotation, and go out. By the time your R finishes, you should already have your E, you should already have your W. Especially if you didn't use everything to engage with, because again, you don't have to use your E if you don't have to. Like, just try to engage with as little as possible. If you can use just your W to stun the enemy, that's perfect. But usually, you're going to need to pair that W with your F and potentially even with your E. Now, with that out of the way, you basically know how this build works and you know somewhat the gist of it. Now, let me show it to you in action. Check it out. Oh, nice hitbox, SBI. Very nice. Come on. I'm gonna have to disengage until I get my R back. In the meantime, he's gonna burn some cooldowns. This is why people hate this build. You just go in and out. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I go out. Forgot to eat my food, but I think I'm gonna be... Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. He does not have the mobility to get away. Now I need to burn some time until this recharges, and then I go back in there. That's about it. The thing is, and it's a, it's a risky thing that I do, I like to get somewhat low on this build, so that my enemy doesn't fully reset whenever they get the chance, you know? Okay, let me get a little bit low here. Let me pass through this. I need to disengage so I make him burn some cooldowns so he won't be able to run. And let me also wait for my HP pot. Let me fully do this. I need you to burn your F. Perfection! Ah, come on! I need, I'm kind of pushed it here. I need to be careful. Okay, next push I'm getting him. I thought that I could kill him there. Nice. Let's go. The rat build strikes once more, chat. Let me, let me run from this guy a little bit. That's why you have to have invisibility potions on you. Invisibility potions can honestly save your life. That guy had exactly the same build, same mobility, higher IP. It would have really messed me up if it wasn't for the invis potion. So, uh, so yeah. Ah, uh, there's another guy that's gonna rat me big time. Let me just, um, I need to get him out of the camp until I get my R. It's gonna be easy, but I, I mean, he's gonna try to one shot. I see his, uh, his plan over there. So I might want to regen up a little bit. That's what I wanted. I wanted to avoid that. I know I ran in a little bit early, but I did not want to allow him to use his uh, his helmet. He can do a pretty big amount of damage here. I need to be careful. 
I know it seems like I'm playing uh, very carefully here, but don't underestimate. This weapon can uh, can take a lot of damage. Okay, no, I need to run. Ah, I might die here. I might die here. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna die, but I pushed it. I pushed it. I knew that I wasn't supposed to push it, but at least I'm gonna get him out of the camp, which is good. Let's get him out of the camp. Come on, come out of the camp. How much cooldown do you have on this one minute, right? Nice. That was much tougher than it needed to be. This is a one-shot build. That's why I played so carefully. It's it's one of those builds meant to look very easy to fight when it's actually much more powerful than it looks like. Much more powerful. He just accepted his fate. I'm sorry to kill him, but I have to get rid of... Uh, <laughs> he had the tomes. You're fine. You're fine. Just get out of here. You're fine. I'm not going to kill you. Just get out of here. You're fine. You're fine. Thermogdon, when will you... Um, when will you PvP some noobs? Well, as often as I can, my friend. As often as I can. Mog loves harvesting the souls of noobs, just like I love harvesting the souls of unloyal viewers. Yes, it's good food. Good food for us. Good food for us indeed. Right when you were asking my... Oh, come on. The spider saved him so badly. It's fine. It's fine. He can, he can get away. Bad decision. I should have went for him. Should have went for him. It's fine. He's a new player. But I would have gotten more out of him than of the of that spider. This is why everybody hates this build. It's just, it doesn't have a ton of damage. It just has insane mobility. And unfortunately, it, it's honestly unfortunate. Right now, mobility wins in the mist. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I don't have damage. As long as I have mobility, I win. Oh... Ooh. He's not going to be able to catch up. Or he might. See, that's what I get for not paying attention, chat. That's what I... That's precisely what I get for not paying attention. That's why I don't do a lot of mists. Because mists require a ton of attention from me. He has his E. He's not going to catch me. But... Um, it could have been real bad here. Oh, he might catch. 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 Oh, it's too late. Boom! Woo! <laughs> I didn't even see this guy appear, man! Man, just like I said at the start, if you cannot beat them, join them. Except that there is actually a way to beat them. Oh yes, if you are among the people that absolutely hate double-bladed staff, or maybe you're a double-bladed staff user that just wants to shed their rat skin. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Ratatouille. I'm talking about you right there. You watching. You know who you are. You know what you've done. Regardless, if you just want to be able to tackle on easily double-bladed staffs, check out this counter weapon right here. Oh man, you really don't want to face this. So check it out right here. It's really strong and it's beginner friendly. 